Round five of the Aviva Premiership signalled the end of part one of the 2013-14 campaign. And with thoughts turning to the first European break of the season, it was important for teams to end this section on a high. Saracens remain unbeaten, but at the other end of the spectrum, Worcester have yet to win. Twins fell down on the road in Reading and lost England skipper Chris Robshaw to injury. Tigers and Saints played out only their second ever Premiership draw. Exeter a triumphant at King's home, while Danny Cipriani set sail alight at the AJ Bell Stadium. 25-year-old Cipriani was an integral part of Sale's third win of the season against fourth place Bath. The ex wasps fly half notched 14 points in the 1913 win. He also made 12 tackles, the most of anyone in the game, including this try saver on Alafoti via Saliba. Another man making plenty of tackles was Blair Cowan. The London Irish open side completing 13 successful hits and scoring a try in the shot win against Harlequins. With the sides level at six all at the break, a rallying call from director of rugby Brian Smith had the desired effect, and the Exiles ground out the 18-13 win. You know, we went in at half time, sort of all square, and we asked the boys to dig deep and try and lift a little, um, see if we could sort of separate ourselves from them just through effort and, and hard yakka, and uh, mate, the boys responded. You know, I'm delighted. Um, and Queens threw everything at us and, and made it one hell of a tussle, but. Uh, you know, I thought we deserved a win. A short drive up the M4 and round the M25 to the plastic of Allianz Park. Saracens were expected to make mincemeat out of London Wasps, but with a raft of changes, it was not all plain sailing for Mark McCall's men. Saris had a 3-0 lead at half-time and eventually came through 19-12, although two tries from visiting skipper Chris Bell and a conversion from Andy Good on the final whistle gave Wasps yet another losing bonus point. Worcester Warriors were struggling with losing bonus points, let alone wins, and they hosted another potential relegation candidate in Newcastle Falcons. It took 32 minutes for the host to get on the board through an Ignacio Mieres penalty, and David Lemmy's try brought them within two points of the Falcons, who had the lead courtesy of a Mike Blair try and the boot of Rory Clegg. A Phil Godman penalty sealed it 16-11 for Dean Richards' side in what could be a key result come the end of the season. The eagerly anticipated East Midlands derby between Leicester and Northampton ended in a gripping 19-all draw. The first half was an arm wrestle in front of 24,000 fans, Saints edging it 9-6, but the second half sprang to life with Alex Corbusiero touching down for the visitors. Stephen Myler had hit 14 points in the 19-9 lead Saints held with 10 minutes to go, but a Toby Flood penalty and a late Ed Slater converted try meant the points were shared. On Sunday, the Exeter Chiefs travelled to an expectant Kings home, but the Shed left disappointed, as for the third time this season their side lost. The Chiefs put on a dominant display, skipper Dean Munn with his third try of the season in the 29-12 win. Gloucester scored two fine tries but were found wanting in a place that is traditionally a fortress. So Saracens extend their lead at the top of the Aviva Premiership to six points as we hit the European break. Saints and Tigers are almost impossible to separate. Saints in second by virtue of plus four greater points difference. The old foes level on points, bonus points, tries scored, even points against. Bath stay fourth while Sale and Exeter climb to fifth and sixth respectively. Quinns dropped to an unprecedented seventh and who would have thought Irish and Falcons would be hitting the heady heights of eighth and ninth after round five. Equally, who would have seen Wasps and Gloucester so near the basement but it's alarm bells at six ways, as Worcester sits seven points adrift at the foot of the table. So the first five rounds have produced some incredible all-round rugby, tries and results. Notably of the 30 matches played, only 15 were won by the home side, compared to last season where 19 were won by home sides. Hopefully this means more excitement for players and fans alike, so catch up on all the interviews, features, highlights and full match replays of all the weekend's games. Log on today at www.premiershiprugby.tv